pause on that right there, uh, Jerry Jerry Goodridge, my guest, because I'm, I'm so happy. I, I have argued uh, repeatedly um, uh, the, the causation. I've argued repeatedly that this starts somewhere. I'm happy you took it into the classroom because if, if you don't, if you start in the middle of the revolution, you will never understand why you're getting more soldiers coming forward all the time. Yep. And there's the point you're making. Uh, we have to find ways to deal with what's happening in our schools as a beginning. But Unfortunately, that is so. I agree with you. We have to go back um, for, f f from where the water came. Okay, w w we understand that is a separate argument, uh, uh, an important one, a related one, but it's a separate one for now. Let us just in the area of uh, this is what is happening now on the street. I am, the, I am a member of the public. This gang situation is going on in this area. Why is it? it does, does there seem to be any way we can stop it from just operating the way it is? All right. Let me throw you off of this question and get back to it. Poverty, street dwelling, um, vagrancy. From any time any authority seeks to get it off the road, get them off, get them cleaned up, um, put some social activity and social welfare into it, who steps forward and says these people have rights? Some other group. You can't take them off the road. You can't mm -hmm. take them this. So if this if it happens there as a visual saw, behavior is not something that you can see. Behavior is something that you feel. So when these young men and young women to support them, uh, uh, one may not understand it. But when these young men get into their situation, now I'm calling it a situation, they just do not know. They're dumb. When I say they're dumb, they just do not know. A guy who lives up a street, Six houses away from another one. He falls out with that guy and he go gets a gun and shoot that guy. Mm -hmm. You know, they just do not know. They do not have a sense of right and wrong because it was not inculcated. Now the public, more affected group of people who are not involved in that, it is an alarming situation because it's happening right on your doorstep, literally. How do we get rid of that? Mm -hmm. We need for that same public to come together and accept that we have a responsibility in monitoring and reporting and in selecting a, a behavior that also has compassion on these guys before they get to that age. Mm -hmm. Are we visiting the schools? The, the scores of retired teachers, scores of retired public servants have not seen in Trinidad and Tobago any group that identifies itself that they can challenge, go in as mentors. We mm. don't have mentors, we don't have volunteerism. No, I should be coming here and talking to you about um, target practice and using using a situation for, you know, um, for target practice, and it's good. But it's not that. It is the fact that we are losing Trinidad and Tobago to a lifestyle mm -hmm. that has no alternative at the end of the day other than to end in debt. And this is the street that those guys are going down. If they associate with a group and they make a pack, they have to go through. You cannot get out of it. Because they hear and they know and they talk. And they talk so much that can't, they are not even confidential in their own grouping. Mm -hmm. It's not like up north where a fella goes and he does a Sunday morning killing and he's back in church by 10 o'clock with his wife and children mm -hmm. dressed in a black suit. Yeah, like no, happened, yeah. they brag, they boast. So that it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's almost like wearing jewelry and wearing, wearing hip-hop clothes now. Yeah, street, uh, just, uh, d d doing the evil like uh, street cred. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's a credit. Way, yes. It's a credit. Mm -hmm. You know, who did who? But I'm still going to come back. I'm, I'm still going to walk you back into that question. The initiatives are put in place by the police service in such a situation where we have uh, this proliferation of gang violence, um, not, not minimizing uh, what you have said because I'm in concurrence with that, but the, the initiatives by the police service in cases of this crime, this gang violence, are you satisfied with the initiatives put forward so far? And if not, what? Do you think we are not looking at the police services? Well, not I am, I'm at. not satisfied with the, with the initiative because it's not giving the results that, that they want. The commissioner in his situation can only look at statistics and the statistics will tell you what is happening and what is not happening. Mm. But we need the commitment, we need the dedication and we need something that is, that is new um, and, and, and a different approach to the same old thing called crime. Um, I have a problem when I see a vehicle with four, five, six officers in it because I've become accustomed to, in other jurisdictions, one man, one car. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that if you have four or five people in a vehicle, you, you, you have a, a situation that is not going to work out because you don't have three on the ground. 
Mm-hmm. You have all of them in a vehicle. You should only so, have so, that if you're going on a raid somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> your, your, your foot patrols, your street patrols, your interaction mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. community, more community-oriented policing, um, where where things would become. Because you talk about flushing out. If there is too much a presence of police in one area, the guys are going to move into another area. No, but really how big understand. is Trinidad? How big is Trinidad? Um, one of the view. things that I always talk That's about... That's exactly my view. <laughs> and I look at Rennie is the fact that any Monday morning, tomorrow morning, Monday, we're going to have a couple thousand soldiers armed in Chagramas in the east-west corridor from Chagramas to Toko. Mm-hmm. When I work out the figures, we have more than 10,000 armed people every day. I've asked the question last week, what common radio link do we have with the security, the police, the military, like a, like a, a universal uh, band of communication mm-hmm. that even if a car is stolen in the mm-hmm. Martin, it has to drive past at least five police stations to get to Laventil. And if it's stolen in Laventil, it has to drive past about four police stations to get to Karani. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and security companies and personnel on the road and um, sometimes you may be in traffic and you're next to a certain car you don't know because there's no communication, common communication. Mm. So I need to see communications mm. upgraded, collaborative efforts upgraded, and a new type of interactive behavior between law enforcement and the public. And there's nothing that you have to spend money on. You have to spend time. You have to communicate. You have to create something that comes with a feedback from our churches and our social our social gatherings because that is where the people are hurting and some outside of law enforcement have good ideas. We need to hear those ideas and put them in place. This th- this question of um, intelligence gathering and sharing, I thought that was the reason for the uh, NOC and the N- NSC. I mean, are they not supposed to be coordinating information between the different elements of the, of the protective services? Well, Am I misunderstanding something here? My, uh, th- th- we, let's tread lightly here. Um, we are in a small country with big men, big minds. Mm-hmm. And sometimes large minds and large men miss little points. Intelligence gathering. Mm-hmm. Um, when we had Chogam, I was visited by some intelligence gathering officers at my office in Queens Park West. Mm-hmm. The guy walks into my office and he sits down and says, we're going to be operating so, 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 so. And then he looks at me and he said, um, what do you really do? So I said, but I gave you my card and this is what I do. He said, no, sir. I get the feeling in this room that you gather intelligence. And I say, yes, I gather intelligence about people, about behavior when I go to the range. And he laughed and he walked away. Sometime after he contacted me and we had a nice discussion. Mm. And he said, for the first time, I am talking to somebody who can explain the protocols and why things happen and why things don't happen. And I said, it's all about people. It's not what you have on the file written down. It's not what you've got it in your dossier, mm-hmm. but it is who wants mm-hmm. to hold on to turf. And in every little place, there's this turf and in that turf and this turf. And they all know me. I know most of them. And uh, as far as intelligence gathering is concerned, I've never been in an intelligence room. Mm-hmm. The intelligence is right there on the street. That is true. Eleven forty-five is the is the time on brunch, and uh, I, I've got to watch where we're closing in because I've got a couple of areas to go through with you. So, getting into that first question that you did, a, a, a good explanations all around. You are saying that with better intelligence sharing, mm-hmm. uh, we could have a better hold of on areas that we're talking about where there is gang violence, where there seem to be no. I said seem, seem to be uh, almost impunity um, with which these gangs operate. You're saying that the better intelligence gathering will indeed uh, ar- arrest, if not arrest, but at least minimize the situation. Am I correct on that? Yeah, because you'll be able to, to track. Um, you'll be able to track. Look, look, a simple thing like when I was a young guy going to primary school, polio, the polio virus. Mm-hmm. You give children this little sweet stuff in a spoon, but you had a card. And then you would know that over the years how many people were immunized. Mm-hmm. Cannot we have a security immunization mm-hmm. card? But I did <laughs> ask you. I, I did ask you also about the, the the observation towers. I asked you about the observation towers. I mean, do do we have them here? Can we mount a couple to? I uh, guess give, because optics are re- really important too. I mean, you know, uh, it goes along with what's that, supposed that, to be. That they work. They work where you have a control access point where you have a lot of crowds still mm-hmm. and the people there. But it, the, these these towers don't work in. In the inner in the inner city, they don't work in in other areas because they're gonna mm. get shut out. Mm. Um, 
about three, four years, they tried to put cameras along, they beat them. And as they put them down every Monday morning, these vehicles were replacing and 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 and, and repairing shooting. and replacing mm -hmm. and in a number of areas when that fails you need to um incorporate good people on the ground who will be able to 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 give you the information yep. and give you the intelligence yep. um it's uh 17 minutes um, m make that 13 minutes away from the top of the hour something that's perplexing when you talk about the community coming together with police um to uh, with the police to, to to correct problems we are talking about that confidence element we mentioned the pbs we mentioned the pca we mentioned the training of officers but how do you explain to a very jaded um public you are uh, a security and law enforcement training advisor you advise so how would you advise the police department to explain or how can you or anyone explain how in a case of Shiguanas we've had crime for a long time they decided they're going to do a, a sweep of the area they do a sweep of the area and they come up with one gun uh, I mean you know now okay so clearly I mean you know you don't need to be living under a rock somebody leaks some information so we're talking about the cleaning of what's happening inside the the police service itself are you satisfied with the moves being made to clean this up? Are you satisfied with that? And which also leads on to the question, while it is not to say that they are the only reason for it, but it does come to the question of the SRPs and the training, generally for people who you're bringing in and having access to all this information. Well, it, it's, it's, it's happened all over. If you have, if you have a crop to, 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 to clean and cull, then your up-to-date measures will have to be effective. And when you do what you do, you get rid of, of, of the dissident. 